they removed £500 million from this industry in profit. So it's his, it's his construction of the way that the railway industry that is, is shaped at the moment that is causing these problems. And he's responsible for this dispute in the sense that he has a veto on what the train operating companies can offer us. It's written into their contracts that he's directly responsible for industrial relations and he can dictate what the terms are. And the fact is they've made no offer on pay towards our members. What they've offered us is mass redundancies, uh, recon recontracting our members on inferior terms and conditions, massive changes to their work-life balance, and cuts in network rail to the, to the safety regime of up to 50% of the inspection. So he's caused this problem and he's got to facilitate a way out of it. And he could do that today. And if he wants to, to facilitate uh, a negotiated settlement, I'm very happy to deal with him. But he, what he won't do is contact me or any of my officers or any of the uh, people responsible for this negotiation and, and create a way forward.